Welcome back everyone to perhaps the concluding video of Rule the Waves as the United States Navy. Hopefully the next time I'm saying let's play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy, it's let's play Rule the Waves 2. Um, which, if you haven't heard, there is post uh, an official, finally an official uh, post saying that it'll be postponed at least until March 2019. Okay, but let's talk about this game. I, by the way, if this is the last video, I'm already trying to make a form, a Google form, same as the one we used for this, not exactly the same, but, and I believe the next, um, let's talk a little bit about what comes next, I guess, because a lot of people are asking for me to revisit Great Britain, which is perhaps the least successful out of all my Rule the Wave series. I have to say that it wasn't really, it wasn't like brutally unsuccessful. I don't know if we ended up losing more territory than we gained, um, which could happen. I mean, this look at empires can't just continuously expand. I mean, the British Empire's <laughs> got to be more or less at its apex around this time, and only can decline from there. So, um, yeah. So it, let's try to look at that. I I just have a very high standard, very high bar for what I consider a successful Rule of Waves campaign. Obviously, Great Britain did not meet that, and neither did Italy, but... Okay, speaking of possessions, I've been talking about this for a while. Looks like we finally did invade the Japanese possession of Haiti. And the, the war will continue. <laughs> Um, oh, Ohio's going to be damaged for a while. And the Keweenaw intercepts a raider in, on the East Coast. Bizarre. We'll take it. This is Lightning, I guess. Yosemite. Okay, yeah, decent class. This should be fun. Just in time. Squad Max, head right towards her. Keep going. Maybe we can catch her. Even at the cost of maybe taking a torpedo here. Yep, there she is. Okay, better get some guns on real quick. We don't have very much time before nightfall. Now she is... Oh, we must have already have hit her. Wow. One hit. Already destroyed a turret. Another hit. Well, that's a 5-inch gun. Come on. Things are very close. <laughs> the nightfall is coming. Oh, yes. Good. Two. A brutal double dose of 15-inch shells. Heavy damage. Another hit. And and now we have to try to guess where she is. So she's gonna go this way. Let's find out where. There she is. Kind of the perfect angle for us to line up a broadside to not take a torpedo hit. There it is. All right, good. And that should be the... I'm not even... I suspect that that's already the end. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what I suspected. Okay, good. So, um... Unfair, I would say. Poor little ship. Caught raiding where she didn't belong. Uh, with this invasion, which I imagine will be successful, because do they have any ships here? No. They don't even have any ships in the Caribbean. I mean, they don't have any ships. Where do they have ships? Japan, no Japan. Look, they don't have any ships anywhere. Okay, this is the first ships I found outside of, I'm sure Asia will have some, but the Indian Ocean. Japan does have a destroyer on the South American East Coast. Nothing on the West Coast even. So they are all bottled up, pretty much everything in Northeast Asia, and really not much left. I read this all correctly, unless I missed some force of Japanese 
ships somewhere. Are they really down to just basically no ships? Two, yeah, they have two um, heavy cruisers. I'm going to call these heavy cruisers now because it's late enough that they probably are. They have six light cruisers, 11 destroyers. I mean, yeah, this is absolutely an abysmal, just completely an abysmal rating. Such a, is it like a, such a pathetic fleet. I don't know how to say it in any other terms. Okay, we took Haiti. That was very quick. Um, do we want to do a coastal raid? Sure, why not? Ebenezer Hoare. Trying to run the blockade, huh? Well, I wish we had battle cruisers stopping people from running the blockade. What are you? A Galveston. My goodness, we have Galvestons in Northeast Asia? This is probably some foreign station ship that got accidentally directed here. But okay, well, you know, here we go. We'll fight to the death. I think it's the AMC. Yep. We were right to be suspicious. Now, what are we up against here? Um, three six-inch gun broadside. Okay, we should be able to handle this. No sweat. And these guys don't have armor. Yeah, so we're just going to shred them. A couple hits there already. And there it goes. Unfortunately, AMCs are not like the best ships to sink. It doesn't matter in the last war you're gonna fight, but they aren't really strategic ships. They are in the sense that if you sink one, it's gone. But every AMC is sold at the end of the war. So you can kind of think of them as all pretty fleeting. They're all gonna be gone. Now we have a whole bunch of invasion class ships, which I believe, invader, sorry shall make their way promptly to Southeast Asia. I mean, who else do we have where? Who's in the Caribbean? We have some U-70s. That's fine. I think that this is, we don't need anything else. We can probably move two of these even to the West Coast. Just to spread them out nice and evenly, two per. Um, we have lightnings on the West Coast, which Interesting. So don't move these. Uh, huh. We have more ships than we know what to do with. Get these guys to move to Southeast Asia, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll do this. Um, Terrapin Maximus is currently on the west coast. You guys should move to Northeast Asia. However you want to do that. I assume... Oh, you're on the west coast. Okay, yeah. Go there. Oh, that's right. Have we been upgrading our bases enough? Oops. We need way highway to have enough base capacity, I think. Improve... Improve. Okay, good. I'm sure that we have enough in Southeast Asia. Um, Southeast Asia, we're okay. Just barely, actually. We could, we could stand for an improvement even here. And we have the money to do it. Why not, right? So, go ahead. And I'm not going to micromanage anything. Eh, Whatever is happening is going to happen. Jarrett attacked, convoy attack, sure. Hooray! We get another chance to play with our... This is, I believe, my the best class I've ever designed, is Terrapin Maximus. Pretty crazy. Out of every ship class I've ever made. I was very, very happy with our um, Legacy Light Cruiser. They've performed so well, which I have to thank Frosty Thunder, whatever, Thundertrod? I forget the exact name. I have to thank Frosty for the idea there. It's a really good one. 
Flying ahead. Squad max. Not really. Let's just let's hold back the reins a little bit. Unfortunately, we're not going to be fighting anything fun. Just a bunch of destroyers. Alright, we'll go get them, boys. Let's have some fun. The little guys get some get a turn having fun too. <laughs> Everyone's like, you know what? Just get me out of here. Oh! Oh god! Oh god, that scared the pants off me. <laughs> this is a an unfair fight has turned into a very, very unfair fight. <laughs> The Izumi was trying to retreat and to just ran full into a battle. Uh, a couple pair of battleships. Not ideal. Not ideal. I mean, it's just brutal. You would expect that Japan would be completely uh, grounding her fleet at this point. I mean, honestly... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, this is really like the the German situation in World War One. There's no point in having your ships out. They're just going to be immediately evaporated <laughs> without any damage done. There's just no point. You need a minimum fleet to challenge, and they don't have it. They're well below that limit. On the other hand, my ships are getting to be, like, amazing <laughs> crew quality. Uh, in one sense, it wouldn't be, it would be kind of fun, I don't think we'll be doing this, so don't, I don't want to get hopes up, but it'd be kind of fun to just play on to like 1960 with the same technology. Everyone would be building endgame ships. Then you'd have ships which were specifically designed, which should be specifically designed only to defeat endgame ships. Bit of metagaming, but I mean it's, you could pretend it's a reality, that if we knew that we were going up against only the best of the best, would we design ships differently? So. Uh, army. Uh, somebody incorrectly says this is the Marines. Uh, well, the idea is, does the army getting money in this event influence the invasions? I think that those are done by Marines, though. Lots of mines being hit. Anyway, I mean, I just, I really feel the momentum is leaving this series. It has been fun. A lot of people have been commenting, actually, that they have really enjoyed this series. And I'm really glad to hear that. So, we will be back. In my usual way, I'll be taking probably like a two-week break, three-week break, who knows. I have to get thumbnail put together, which is, for some reason, not trivial for me. Um, and there it is. So, just pretty much perfect timing, 13 minutes in this video. So, this will be a conclusion. We didn't take... Oh god, we did not take... Formosa. Damn. But that's okay. So, there it is. The series as rule of World Waves as the United States Navy. Absolutely my favorite nation to play as. I mean, the more I played this series, the more I really remembered how much fun it is to play as them. Germany is a fantastic second option. Uh, probably a little bit more exciting because you face off with uh, England. So, like, United States is fun because you can just go and dominate. Germany is fun because you have a really good competitor in Great Britain. So, the problem with playing the United Kingdom, as I've already showcased, yeah, in my series and... Also, in my personal playthroughs as the, United, uh, as the United Kingdom, they're just really difficult because it requires so much tedious micromanagement of foreign stations, which just drives me bonkers. And frankly, like if we can look at the Almanac now, Great Britain has um, the second highest budget, about, a, uh, about 20% more than Germany. Germany has one, two, three, four, let's call this one five because they were here eventually. They have five sea zones that they are uh, need for um, need ships on foreign stations. 
England, the United Kingdom, Great Britain has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They should have one here, which is twelve. They, I mean, they basically have a colony everywhere. Now, I think this Falkland Islands one, when does that, is that always part of theirs? I don't remember putting ships on foreign station there. And they don't have one either, so maybe that's like a special case. But even 11, I mean, they have over double, let's say at least double, the number of sea zones as Germany, with 20% more of the budget to do it. I mean, it's just a, a cruel twist of fate. Not even twist of fate. It's just by design that England has to put so many ships on foreign station. I don't know. Um, it's just something about this mechanic maybe needs to change. Or maybe maybe England's budget, Great Britain's budget, needs to be historical. May uh, Did I play... I think I played Great Britain last time with historical budget, or not with historical budget, with game budget, which is against Great Britain's favor. Maybe I should try playing on it with historical budget. I don't know. But uh, yeah, feel free to post your ideas. I think great, everyone was commenting. I, I don't think anybody commented for a nation other than Great Britain, so they're clearly the, the front runner, the favorite. Now, if we take a look at how long these series last, this is episode 56 now, and this series started in March. It's, it's gone eight months, which is pretty remarkable. It's, it really, it makes me like, um, kind of, uh, I kind of hunch my shoulders and ugh, it gives me like a weird feeling to know that a series has gone on for eight months. You know, God forbid we had uh, actually played out the Twin Doll Wars series. With the pace that that would have gone, I can't imagine how slowly that would have ended. More than a year. Anyway, um, what more do I have to say about this? Is there anything I want to comment about ship designs or anything? Now, I think what I'll do is I don't have the link, the Google form ready yet, so uh, I'll just put look for a comment um, or something in the video description. I do try to utilize, I, I actually, I don't know if you guys have ever, ever looked, but I leave a, a summary of the video in the video description. So I try to, the video description is supposed to, I, I try to utilize that. And if you have ever considered, if for some reason you're watching this and you never knew how to buy Rule the Waves, you can find a link where to buy it. It looks like a sketchy Yahoo site, but it's actually legitimate. <laughs> so you can buy it with a link in the video description. And that's not, uh, what do they call it when you affiliate? It's not affiliated with me at all. <laughs> it's just a link to the site. I'm kind of curious how many people bought this game um, after viewing my series. Uh, that's a, it doesn't, like a content creator doesn't need to know that just statistic. I assume that I assume somebody at somewhere and press statistics and has done the analysis and known that or figured out that yeah, giving uh, YouTube content creators a key. I didn't receive a key for this. I bought it myself, but uh, giving them a key is beneficial because yeah, whatever they give keys, so there must have been some math behind it, right? So this has become almost a channel update. Let's retire, resign, I should say, which cannot be undone. Is there anything else I want to do? I don't think we've designed already end game ships. I am sure. Okay, so it only goes up to 1930. There's a few battles beyond that, but that's okay. Slow and steady. Oh, we got the first three wars we fought were against France. <laughs> Fleet tonnage. Red is the... Good God, what happened here? Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Fleet tonnage. Is it saying we were below Great Britain until 1926? And what is going on with this dot? Oh, that's just a dot which is from this map, got it, that didn't get cleared because it's actually off the charts. Which just goes to show you, this was an amazing playthrough, our war, our prestige was off the charts, literally off the chart. Um, this feels weird. I didn't, actually, I guess it's so, I guess it could be true. So Great Britain had like, 
So stupid, this number should absolutely be starting from zero. So there, we had a, ugh, we have a relative scale. I can't say that this is double because we're missing some tens, but th it, this is like 50% more. It's pretty substantial. Much higher fleet tonnage for the British. Economy wise, yeah, this is normally how it goes. So it only takes us until 1912 to overtake the British. Uh, this was helped obviously by two successful wars. But considering we, I mean, this is just the perfect comparison. You can see that our number of ships versus the British, uh, and then comparing economies. As of 1913, we have a better economy. As of 1913, we have like half the ships that they do. So how do they do that? I don't know. Okay, so as the main play, wow, good Good lord. Oh, wait. It doesn't show it as a war, but surely this fleet tonnage drop was during war. Yeah, I think this was the time we fought them, wasn't it? Look at this decline. This has got to be the Battle of Cape Cod. Doesn't say when it took place, but... I mean, come on. It, it can't be anything but. It has to be the Battle of Cape Cod right here. So, summary of lost ships... It's just, it's absolutely brutal for... Look at, we fought three wars with France, and they got away with not losing much at all. Which just goes to show you how hard it is to sink ships in the beginning of this game. Um, we fought this with Japan, and even though it was a very short war, we killed six dreadnoughts and nine battle cruisers. It's brutal. Uh, mind you, we lost less ships in our entire tenure as, you know, whatever, Admiral, Grand Admiral, Fleet... Uh, whatever, what do they call it? Admiral of the, of the Navy. Um, the, uh, the entire, our entire tenure, Admiral Tortuga's entire tenure, lost less ships than a lot of other nations. Even, I think, even than France. No, it looks like France has us beaten by a bit. Uh, ignore entirely the 60 destroyers that we lost. <laughs> Which is the most out of anybody. And also the auxiliary ships we lost. But that, that actually makes sense, because this is basically a steady number with war. You can't stop submarines entirely, so. And we only lost 110 submarines, which is still a pretty high number. Uh, I, I guess somebody was... There are some other comments about people talking uh, maybe about Confederate... Excuse me. Playing as the Confederate States of America and stuff like this. I, I just... Since the overwhelming number of people want Great Britain. Yeah, I, I guess if you guys don't mind the tedium of foreign stations, that's the one drawback I always see about playing as the Great, as the, as the British. 15 dreadnoughts, 13 battle cruisers. That was a hell of a war. Even three armored cruisers. Jeez. That was a, a brutal victory against them. Yeah, we, we never fought the Russians. We never fought the Italians. So... Yep. Good. All good. And I guess we'll get an aircraft carrier named after us. Yeah, there it is. Which should... Oh, look at this. I, I've actually only done better <laughs> in my Japanese playthrough. That was a fun playthrough. But uh, that one makes sense, too, because we did rewind time, and we, we continued playing until effectively 1950. This is the only one where I actually edited the time, so this should be 1948 or 1949. I actually edited the game file to be able to fight the, I think, to fight the Americans. Uh, and that was a really fun playthrough for me, playing as Japan. So, yep. All right, well, I guess that concludes this video. So thanks to everyone for your time. And as I always say, at the end of a series, especially one which has gone on this long, and I think we have a pretty devoted following to this one, if you have any recommendations for other games, um, who is it? There's other people... Lots of other comments for games. Even if you've, if you've already mentioned something, I may have forgotten about it, feel free to post it again. There are a few naval games I'm looking at, which is most... I, I don't try to focus specifically on naval games. I mean, almost to the contrary. I, I feel like I play too many naval games. But if you have any recommendations, there's been... Um, or some of the upcoming games I was t intending to play are Airships, um, what is this one? Fleet at War Pacific or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, 
the new game which recently came out maybe like a month ago uh, didn't have an amazing opening but I'm gonna give it a shot was it victory at sea Pacific so those are two games there when airships and but there's some that people recommended that I already I should write down I did not write down and anyways what I'm trying to say is if you leave a comment about a game you think I'd be interested in or you'd be interested in seeing me play I take those comments extremely seriously especially on the last video of a series we're concluding this series it's exactly the time when I start looking into new games to play and if you have a recommendation please let me know uh, yeah okay that's it so uh, make sure to if you haven't already press that like and subscribe no um, make sure to put your name into the Google form so that you get your priority <laughs> you get a spot for the next upcoming campaign whatever it is um, and I think that's it I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm forgetting I'm stalling for time oh uh, thumbnails if anybody wants to it's a few people have been asking me about thumbnails that thumbnails is like one of the surprisingly time-intensive things <laughs> just because you want some form of quality I would say if you're interested in making a thumbnail for the next uh, series let me know on discord so we can interact you can post suggestions I'm very critical I, I have uh, incompetent idiot that's a person's username by the way I'm not just calling him bad words uh, he used to make my thumbnails a few of them and he knows I'm, I'm very critical so oh look at this we can show the history again I never no I think I did know that so okay but that's going to conclude this one thanks for watching and until the next series or whatever series you jump to after this I, I'm actually going to be doing cold waters that'll be posted um, a quick series on that so uh, if you're interested in that, that'll be starting pretty much because at the end of this one. I, I've already recorded, but I was waiting for this one to end to begin that one. Uh, so it's one of the things I'll do in my like two weeks off from Rule the Waves. But anyway, as I said, thanks for watching. And until whatever series or video we catch next together, take care.